comp detail list view. As you recall, there's options to see the comps in different ways. Uh, we talked about the map, we talked about the matrix table, now we're using the list view, and the list view has a lot of neat features, and uh, there's a lot to learn about how to navigate this uh, list view and the value of truly understanding the features like the sorting, how to map the conditions and things like that that I'll get into on the best practices. For now, I just want to give you a basic understanding. We have tools to manage the data. Sometimes you have a lot of information. You can select, remove, select, uh, selected items, and select. You also have other filters here that you can use to kind of fine tune the data. This is your property in question. If you forgot what your property looks like or the data, it's easy to see it very quickly. And then you can use the uh, header to sort the information based on any preferences, list price, sales price, status, close date, and things like that. Um, there's a lot of relevant information. You also see the conditions. You got some greens and reds, and those are mapped. So you also have the ability to come into this table and start seeing the detail comp information. You have the agent's uh, contact information. You can also text and email them through a set of uh, templates that are specific to the section. So Jim, you can send the text to Jim that says, Jim, I'm looking at your comp on this address. I'm an investor. Uh, give me a call. Let's talk shop. That uh, feature works the same thing at comps. You can make notes. You can map your, your uh, 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 comp-specific uh, so then this way you can understand it. So there's a lot of neat features here that I'll get into down the road uh, on your best practices. But this, what we call the list view table, lets you understand the data from a high low perspective and the differences. So you can cut the ends, as I call it, to get rid of the properties that don't really qualify based on conditions or influences. And then also to get rid of the properties that might be higher than us not by necessarily condition, but features which could skew the matrix table because you have a property that's maybe twenty, thirty thousand dollars higher. Like in this case, you can see the data here is floating and the three and the high threes leaking over into the fours, but you got a pending that is in the four sixty nine, still not closed. Let's just say the agent says, Hey, we actually got four hundred. You can make that determination here. You can get rid of that. So right now the system's telling me this house is worth 415. If I get rid of this comp, that is the high comp, it brings me down to 390, which you can see it's a little bit more realistic um, to what's there. And of course you make those determinations. But again, we'll get into those details. Just want to give you a quick overview of the function of the list view in this comp. Uh, section, which you're going to be spending most of your time.